right. All right, I'm back. Here's another field note. I did some uh, pretty in-depth in depth, in depth uh, scouting around back uh, behind the field. Uh, now, Fred Candy had brought back uh, a sample of scat back to camp a couple days ago. And, you know, what was obvious in the little piece he did bring back was grass and water shoot. Uh, water shoot is a, a water weed that grows by water or in the water. Uh, usually in marshy areas. We got it all along the creek bed back here. Um, with the other locations that where I found bear scat, bear scat, like I said, keep in mind, bear scat I've seen in several styles. Several, it comes in a variety of different textures. Uh, based on the diet of the, what the bear or bears has been eating throughout the day or week. Uh, keep in mind, bears use the bathroom very frequently, quite often. Um, I've seen several st uh, piles of bear scat back there. I've seen two piles of large bear scat with the grass, uh, the water root, grass root, whatever you call it, uh, with different vegetation mixed into it. I've also seen bear scat with um, uh, wood, sawdust, like shredded up looking wood, because they do eat into wood quite often, uh, especially mainly to get their bugs, grubs, etc. Um, and back there towards the bedding area, uh, if you keep in mind when I refer to the bedding area, I'm referring to the deer bedding area. Um, seen a lot of bear sign, bear tracks. I came across some water root, uh, whatever you call I just, you know, the, um, the vegetation that was found in the piece of bear scat that Fred Candy brought back. I've seen, I took a picture of it and I documented where you can see where something's been eaten at it. I did find tracks all around there and tracks were very clear and I took pictures of them. Bears, bear tracks everywhere. There's a number of deer tracks and bear tracks all throughout there. Deer tracks of all sizes. All right, however, when Elaine was back there, she said she saw something take off. And I concluded it was a bear. And I believe my conclusion was accurate. Um, based off the evidence I've been finding, there's a very active bear behind here. When I used to camp over here at the other spot, Always had bear activity. Found a lot of fresh bear signs. Even during the hunting season, I just found fresh bear signs. Bears is one thing I do specialize in. I know how to identify bear signs, their diets, their scat, their tracks, etc. Um, so yeah, the bears have been very active all right here at camp, behind camp, down beyond. So have the uh, deer. Uh, I've seen a lot of fresh deer signs too. Um, so I want to make a, a correction on that, and I hope Fred didn't say nothing on his podcast, because, you know, I wanted to let him know, based off of my findings and my observations on the scat, because I found the, the whole portion um, more than once. So three portions that were all identical, besides the other two that had wood in them. Well, the bear scat, all three of them that were identical, with the same water shoot um, vegetation in them, all come from bear. Uh, I've seen a number of seeds in them. So yeah, the bear has been eating a lot of the vegetation. So therefore, the scat that Fred Candy found was not Sasquatch. It was bear. Black bear. They eat. Black bears will run and follow the water sources, and they will eat the vegetation that are nearby. So with that being said, any questions of denial on what I found? I mean, I do apologize that Fred came to the conclusion um, based off of his findings, but for my findings, it's up to me, it be, me being a researcher and an investigator, I have to investigate, I have to look into this, because if I was to agree with him, I need to find proof to agree with him, just like anybody else in the field. Anybody can make a claim, but it's based off of your research and your investigation, based off of your hypothesis and your theories, you got to combine them together, you got to research them, investigate them, and find out... <laughs> Show me proof that's what you're saying it is. I have to do that for myself. If I make a claim, 
if my claims, if they're fact, I will state that they're fact. A lot of my claims are more or less opinions. But I research my opinions, and then when I turn them and bluntly claim them to be fact, it's because I did my homework. Just like any other one of you that are out there that are researching Sasquatch, an unclassified primate. <laughs> you have a large uh, abundance of other species among you. Are you forgetting them? Think about it. I have to research and understand the bears and the patterns of all the species. Because if I just went off of just guessing and went off of my imagination, if I was to let my imagination run wild, everything would be a Bigfoot. <laughs> Do I make sense? Am I making any sense at all to you? I'm not putting nobody down. I'm just trying to educate in a soft manner um, that I investigated. I did my research. I did my homework. That's what we're here for. That's what I'm here for. That's why the ECBRO is here. Someone needs to be the voice of reason. Help me be that voice. Do you have doubt with what I'm saying? Question me. Question me and I'll answer you. I invite you to question me Monday the 13th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as I go and explain all my findings and share them. I'll be screen sharing photos and I'll be discussing everything that's happened out here. That's what these uh, expeditions are about. They're all, it's a learning experience every time we're out here. It's not just looking for a Bigfoot sign, but you got to observe and take notice of what's out here that does exist. That it is classified as what it is. So thank you again for watching my videos. Tell your friends about me. Let's learn. Let's get the awareness out there. Subscribe to this channel. Spread, share the links, do whatever is necessary to put the word out there. The ECBRO is coming to you. We're spreading out. I have very active members and active researchers who have been great reporting and sharing their findings with me. And I will be acknowledging them very soon publicly through an open podcast show. God bless. And subscribe to ECBRO98 right here on the YouTube channel. Check out me on Twitter as Daniel Benoit. Find me on Facebook and like us on Facebook, the ECBRO like page. Thank you.